this math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat, I want to take a look at a question that can sometimes trip people up, and it involves exponents and negative numbers. More specifically, I want you to pay close attention to where the negative value is as we work each of these out. So for this first one, we have negative parentheses 2 to the third power. So how are we going to solve this one? Well, it means we're going to leave our negative alone, right? We're going to keep that on the outside. And this becomes 2 times 2 times 2. That is to say, 2 to the third power is 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. Uh, what is 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So this is negative times 8. A negative times a positive is going to be a negative. So this is negative 8. All right, so you can see how we deal with this negative sign when it's outside the parentheses. Now, when the negative sign is inside the parentheses, this is what it becomes. We have negative 2 to the third power and the negatives inside parentheses. It becomes negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So let's go ahead and work this out. Negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Negative 2 times negative 2 is more specifically is going to be positive 4. Then we have positive 4 times negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is going to be negative 8. Okay, so in this case, we get the same answer regardless of where that negative sign's at. That said, let's move on to this next one. We have negative parentheses 2 to the fourth power, and that negative sign is outside the parentheses. So we're going to leave it outside parentheses. 2 to the fourth power is 2 multiplied by itself four times. Let's see what happens for this one. We have 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So this is negative times 16. Negative times 16 is negative 16. All right, let's see what happens down here. We have negative 2 in parentheses to the fourth power. Again, this is going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Again, a negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times negative 2, a positive times a negative is going to be negative 8. And then finally, a negative 8 times negative 2, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Negative 8 times negative 2, more specifically, is going to be positive 16. So again, pay very close attention to where the negative is. If the negative's outside the parentheses, you leave it outside the parentheses. If it's inside parentheses, you include it as you do your multiplication.